Hey, my name is Matthew Ben. I'm working with Arcola Energy here today at City Hall, London. And I'm going to give you a very quick lesson about how we're using hydrogen today to power our Lego cars. So, in here I've got some hydrogen stored in a metal hydride. And if I take my fuel cell here, I can put the hydrogen in. The oxygen in the air comes in here, and the oxygen and the hydrogen mix together to make water, H2O. And a byproduct of that is that electrons move around a circuit. So you can see I've got a motor here, and now that I've connected it all up, I don't know how easily you can see that on the film if I just disconnect the connection there. You can see we've got movement. So one of the key problems that we've got today, after we're using our hydrogen, is how to connect the wheels and the motor all together with our Lego kits. So one of the problems that their kids are having to solve is um, interconnections, gears, how many wheels they should use, should we use uh, these really enormous wheels or the smaller wheels. It's an engineering challenge. And the other problem that we've got is making sure that we're testing the most economical car. Every team here is going to get the same amount of hydrogen and the competition is to see who can go the furthest distance because that's what this is all about, it's about the most efficient car. Pupils to see what we teach them in theory and give them a chance to see it in practical applications. So it's been brilliant for them to see things we're teaching them about eco friendly alternative sources to actually go out, build a car, understand what the need is, and also link it to the global problem, the problems they will face in the future. So we put it together like this because we want to distribute the weight as much as we can. So it's My name is Owen Calvert Lyons and I'm the Creative Learning Manager for our Cola Theatre and I'm also the Project Manager for London School's Hydrogen Challenge. Back in its early days it was made from pieces of plastic, custom made plastic and glue guns, um, really with the idea that we wanted to teach young people about hydrogen technology and we felt that a car would be something that they could latch onto quite quickly about understanding the use of, of that kind of technology. We've worked with primary schools, we've worked with secondary schools, we've taken the project out to Abu Dhabi as part of the International Science Festival, we've probably delivered this workshop to two or three thousand young people now. Have you been down the track then, girls? We've got 17 years. 17. How can we improve it? We had more than 17 last time. We've got 36 last time. We've got more than 17 last time. We've got more than 17 last time. In uh, three years' time, or two years' time, in 2015, it looks like all the big global car manufacturers are going to start producing hydrogen cars for use by you, your mum and dad, Transport for London, all the other organisations. In first place, you've probably worked out who you are, just edging it with a distance of 21 metres, is Team HH from Hudson Park. 